back. We are back here again two months later. And I can assure you if we're here again in two months, it won't be me. Okay? <laughs> But I am extremely excited to be here today with, with Russ Pennell. We are so excited to have Coach Pennell back home, coming back to Arkansas. And, and I'll tell you, as, as it was with the football search, UCA should be extremely proud of the interest in being in Conway and at UCA. It was unbelievable the type of talent, coaching talent, who wanted to be here and be with us. And we're so proud we had that kind of talent. Uh, again, first I got to thank President Courtway, who was here. Just took a call, and we'll be down in a second. Just, just the best president, as you you all know. Our board of trustees, thank you for all you do in support of athletics, but also absolutely every department on this campus. Our staff, who who makes all of our jobs efficient and run smooth, and have put together the nice piece today, the publicity piece for you to see. Uh, our search committee, again, thanks for your time. It's, it takes a lot of time, and I appreciate the time you guys have helped to put into this. And then certainly uh, my family, Gina, who are very patient, uh, knowing that these jobs take uh, a lot of odd hours and a lot of odd days. And then I want to thank Clarence Finley, Coach Clarence Finley and his staff. Uh, very professional, hardest working group I've seen, and, and very classy folks, and I appreciate uh, all they've done for our program. All right, so we, we set out to find a coach. We wanted to make sure that we picked someone who had been successful in coaching, successful as a head coach as well, uh, shown the ability to recruit this state for sure, but all over the nation, have national contacts was very important to us and be very connected in recruiting. We wanted someone who demonstrated a, a high concern for academics and character. We needed that, and then somebody who had also a caring attitude for all, for all sports, for all people, for people outside of just their program. We needed that. And then as we always, we want someone who fits UCA's profile of, of concern, caring, collegiality. That's one of our core values, by the way, collegiality. So Coach Pennell fit all of those to a T. I mean, absolutely did. He, he was the best of, of our many candidates and embodies all of these characteristics that I just mentioned. You know, he's coached at the highest level, the Big Five conferences, coached there for 15 years, was a head coach at Arizona for a year, four years at, at Grand Canyon University, a transitioning D2 to D1 school at this time, so certainly had experience that we needed. Has recruiting contacts all over this nation. He spent four years as his own camp AAU director. Knows all of the AAU hotspots around this nation, certainly Arizona and Kansas and Arkansas. Uh, very important for us. You know, he's, he's a very good person who surrounds himself with good people. And you'll meet his associate head coach, Anthony Boone, in a minute. But he's also someone who played at UCA. So uh, how could we get better than that? We're very fortunate that we have a UCA alum someone who spent years here who's also had this kind of experience and, and we're proud to have him. Now he's married to Julie Smith who went to school at UCA and is from Fordyce. So she's coming home. They have two daughters. One's a senior in high school, one's an eighth grader in high school. The move's going to be tough but I, I think they're going to persevere. The senior in high school I think would be a, a, a good prospect for UCA so we're going to try to <laughs> get her to, to be a bear. <laughs> we're going to work on that, right coach? <laughs> Yeah, that's the first recruit you got. So with nothing else for me to say, please welcome home Russ Pennell. Well, it's my honor and privilege to be standing here today. And uh, if, you know, it's a little nostalgic for me uh, walking around this campus, uh, I don't recognize a lot of it. In fact, y'all tore my dorm down, so I don't even have any place to point where I used to live, except it's a parking lot. Um, but you know, I, I, before I kind of get into you know sharing a few ideas, I, I want to also thank President Courtway and, and Dr. Teague. Uh, you know, when you're a, a basketball coach, what you want more than anything is a chance to be successful. There, there's no guarantees in sports. And, and in order for t you to have a chance of being successful, it has to start above you. It has to be people that make a commitment to the excellence of a program. And, and when I researched UCA and uh, you know, Dr. Teague and I were talking uh, back and forth, uh, I know he was checking me out and I was checking him out. And every person I would talk to would talk about 
how this program was ran with integrity, how that UCA was progressive in their thinking, and that all started with, with Dr. T. And as a head coach, you need that support. And so I'm excited about that, and, and, and Brad, I'm really looking forward to working with you, and thank you for that. Um, my wife, Julie, is unable to be here today. I have two teenage daughters, and if any of you have teenagers, you know that uh, uh, they've got a lot of things going on. My oldest one took the news pretty good. My youngest one didn't take the news so good. So uh, we're working on her, and I think everything's going to work out, but uh, we are awful excited about coming back. Julie is from Fordyce. Her folks live down there. Uh, we'll get back closer to them, and she has a sister that uh, also went to UCA that lives in North Little Rock. So this is a real homecoming for her. We've been in Arizona 16 years now, and so this opportunity to come back has, uh, has been very exciting for us. I, I was able to bring uh, Anthony Boone, who's sitting over to my left, uh, with us. And Anthony, it's a unique situation for me. I, I recruited Anthony out of high school. He went to uh, Helena High School, Helena, West Helena, or East Helena, or what, however many Helenas you have. <laughs> but he was a star over there, and, uh, and, and we had an opportunity to get him at Ole Miss. And I've told people before, the success we had in the mid to late 90s at Ole Miss started with Anthony Boone. He was the heart and soul of that team. He got us off to a, a great start once after a couple of tough years, and he really opened the gates to us recruiting Arkansas people. And when we left for Arizona State in 1998, we had six players from the state of Arkansas on that roster, and three of them started. Anthony is a, a, a brilliant student, and uh, his, his degree is in, uh, uh, you're a chemical engineer, right? Uh, I can't even spell that. And, <laughs> and, uh, and a, uh, ma his master's is in mathematics. And as I always kid him, he's not very smart because he's coaching. But I am glad that he is, and I'm excited about him being here. Anthony was with me at Grand Canyon for four years and then in our short stint with the uh, Phoenix Mercury. And I think he's one of the uh, superstars of coaching, of uh, the young coaches in this country. And we're real, real blessed uh, to have him here on staff. And I'll be honest with you, I, I really, not sure, but it would have been hard for me to take this job if he hadn't come with me. That's how much I believe in him. So glad he's here and, and uh, he's, he's going to be an integral part of what we're doing. It's interesting, I'm reading some of these quotes from these guys and guys I work for and they never were this nice to me when I worked for them. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading that in detail because I, I didn't know they felt that way. Uh, <laughs> I've been very blessed in my life. Uh, it, it started here playing for Don Dyer years ago. Um, in fact, one of my teammates, Robbie Davis, Robbie and I used to beat each other up in practice and glad you, he's here today. And uh, you know, it's, it, when I was here, it was, it was a special place. I knew that, I could tell that. And as I got into coaching, you know, people have asked me, I've had reporters ask me recently, did, did you always think about coaching at UCA? And, and, and I told them, not really. I mean, it wasn't, it, it's, and that's no negative. It was always on my radar as far as following them. This is where I played. I would always check the scores. How'd they do? When they were Division II, NAI, whatever, moving up to Division I, and I always checked the scores. And I, I, I really today, one of my favorite people, and you guys will appreciate this, was Arch Jones. Arch was the guy who kept me sane a lot of times. Uh, when I was here. And Arch and I talked over the years when he was the AD about coming back and, and different things, and the timing never was right. The timing now is, is right for us. I, I, I'm in a, in a place that I really wanted to, uh, to come back to this area and coach. And, you know, I was with the Phoenix Mercury, and we had a great, great uh, end of our season and had an opportunity to stay with them. And professional basketball, I don't care at what level, you know, the women's game is. Uh, the, the greatest players in the world that we were coaching. But there was something about it. I still wanted to coach college basketball. And when I saw this opportunity open up, I, I was very uh, fortunate to have the opportunity to visit with Dr. Teague and, and the committee, and i um, glad today to be here in front of you. As far as the basketball side of things, there's some work to be done here. Uh, I, too, want to thank uh, Clarence Finley. I, I've, known, I've known Coach Finn years and years and years, and I know the situation he stepped into this year. It's hard. I was an interim coach. It's kind of like the substitute teacher. 
You know, we've all had them. And it's, it's not always easy, but I think he's done a remarkable job of keeping them playing hard. They've been in every game. And, uh, you know, so I, I really have the utmost respect for he and his staff and what they've had to endure this year. As far as the future goes is we've got to upgrade everything. And it starts, number one, with mentality. It starts with the discipline of being a good basketball team. The one thing I believe is this, it is a privilege to play a sport, not a God-given right. And I think when you understand it's a privilege that you will protect that and take care of it. I, I'm just the kind of coach, if you don't want to go to class and you don't want to make the grade, you're never going to see the court. It's just not going to happen. If you don't play defense, you don't see the court. We don't talk about offense. We talk about defense. Every basketball player loves to shoot. You don't have to tell them that. But you do have to talk about getting in a stance and moving your feet. And it's the same thing. I, I, I believe our staff will make a commitment to bringing not only the best basketball players that we can find, but the best people. One thing I learned a long time ago, and I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. Early in my coaching career, I get a call 3 a.m. needing to get a guy out of some trouble at a local dance club. I've never forgotten that and never wanted to do it again. And what I've always told our staff, uh, obviously we like to help kids. If, if, if there's some kids that just need a helping hand and they need somebody in their life. But there's also kids that are good kids that you can find in this country to come and represent your school. And my commitment to you as the alumni and fans and to our staff is I, I want those kind of kids. I want something that we can all be proud of. And by the way, we are going to win some games too. This isn't just uh, that we have a bunch of kids that we all feel good about and sing kumbaya around a fire. I, I really, my goal is to be a prominent team in the Southland Conference and to put this program where I think it rightly deserves. You, you all have been very good in every sport except this one. And it's time we change that. And uh, as soon as we get done here, we're going to start. We're going to start as we head off and watch some guys play. But I'm thrilled about being here, excited about the opportunity, and uh, look forward to meeting each and every one of you. And, and I hope you'll forgive us if we don't remember, remember your name the first time, but we'll work real hard at it. And um, I'm just hoping that we can build something here in Conway, Arkansas, that uh, our fans, our alumni, and the country will look and go, they've got it going on there.